Welcome back. You've already started your blog. I mean, and we're so excited about that. But before you blog, it is important that you do a couple of things first. And for this first video about the things you should do before you even post, you need to change your appearance. And what I want you to do is go right here to where it says appearance. Click that on. And you notice that it drops down to several different options. And the one we're going to deal with is not widget, extras, custom header yet, or color header, or editing the CSS. And we're going to go directly to themes. Now, you notice that the theme that we currently have is called the cubic theme. Okay, it gets you started. It's better than nothing. True. So if I visit the blog right now, Betty Boomer's blog, it just, that's the thing. And trust me, there are a lot of blogs out there that don't go beyond this. And often, when I see blogs that haven't taken the time to change their theme, well, that's it. They just haven't taken the time. It's important to customize it. Sometimes people are just so excited, they just start posting, posting, posting. But appearance is is like coming out without your teeth if you wore dentures or coming outside in your PJs and it's not because there was a fire. So we really want to change our appearance. It's not that this does not give you clothing and it's not that it's not adequate, but you can do better. Again, a lot depends on your personal taste. So we're hoping that your taste goes beyond just keeping the basic cubic theme. So let's look at some of the other options. Often people look at things uh, based upon the colors that they like, but I think it's important to also look at the function. You know, if you're thinking about your blog and what you want it to do for you, what you want it to represent, you will then decide, well, do I want two columns three columns, am I putting a lot of pictures in, all those things. And you notice here on the first page there's several different choices. Well, before I even leave this page, I can look at this and say, okay, what do I want? Well, I don't want any dark themes. I want uh, Betty's blog to be really booming. <laughs> no, I want it to be bright. And I want a lot of information on it but information that you can read easily. So let me think here. Let's look at what our selections are. I might like this one. What you do then is just click and you look at it. There it is. I notice here that the look at the fonts and I look at what's there already. And these are called widgets by the way and I'll show you how to change these widgets and put new ones up or how to expand these and put information right in these boxes and widgets are wonderful remember that but here it gives me a lot of white space actually to make my post and this is the image that I have not bad I go over to the corner I have the option of activating it but I don't want this one so I'm going to look at more and I'm going over to the X here where it says close I'll close that and it allows me to go back to the other themes for selection. I'm going to go to page two and oh, that looks interesting. Depot masthead. Now this means that someone made this theme and they contributed because in the WordPress community people are usually uh, designers using their gifts and talents to donate these themes. Well, I'm going to click on that. Hmm, bright. A lot of room to put things. I can still post pictures and all kinds of good things. Not bad. I'm going to activate this. And look at that Betty Boomer's blog. And I'm activating this. And this is the one for now I might play with. And you notice it says my blog title right there. I'm going to click on it and voila! This is what we're going to work with because there's some other things 
other settings we need to take care of before we even make our post. Okay, thank you for hanging in there with me. And I will, hopefully, yes, be back.